Hello, hello, and welcome back to all the mods 9 to the sky. Today, we're going to be working on getting this guy right here. Let's uh, pick up where we left off. All right, finally got all four uh, spirited. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> so we can make seeds out of these. And then we just have one more tier of seed to grab before we are finished with power. The final tier is going to be the Nitro Crystals, made by energizing Nether Stars, Redstone, and Blazing Crystals together to get 16. And then we'll need enough to make four compressed blocks to make some seeds. So we'll need to do uh, this energizing recipe 27 times. Now I added a pattern provider below this uh, to try and automate this process so I don't have to manually add all of these items 27 times. I'm going to attempt to see if this works. And then in the pattern provider, we have a pattern for the nitro crystals with the energizing recipe. And then we made sure to turn on blocking mode in here, which, what? Yeah, this one. Do not push crafting ingredients if, it, if the inventory contains a pattern input. So, if I request some nitro crystals, how many do I even need? 432. Let's try this. So this should only add enough for that recipe and it shouldn't put any more in there and then when this is done where is it gonna go that's a really good question router that pulls from this and pulls nitro crystals yeah that sounds good oh why is that in there oh because oh don't do that then no and then send back to here yes Sound good? I think it sounds good. And then it will add another recipe? No, it will not. Well, that's not what you want to see, unfortunately. Okay, now it just doesn't work at all. Oh, man. I don't know what I did wrong. Hello, I'm trying to work. Please. <laughs> so for some absolute insane reason, this only seems to work when it's not coming from the bottom, uh, even though it worked the first time, so I have no clue. And then hopefully when this is finished, it will get pulled out, and new ones will go in. Let's hope. Ah, it did work. Awesome. So now we just need to wait a bit for those, for all those nitros, nitro crystals to craft up. This may take a minute, though, since we don't have a great amount of power right now. In the meantime, uh, there are some other things we can start working towards. These nitro crystals are actually needed for all the modium, which is the next thing that we're going to attempt to get. Here we go. We can see all the modium is made by energizing all of these items together. So nitro crystals are one of the things that we need. And so these other ones are going to be pretty easy to get, I believe. We're going to find out though. And all of these can be automated either with seeds or this one will need a B4. This one is going to be a weird one. Oh, this one does have a B. Okay, cool. So let's get started on that. Flux infused ingots are made with gold dust and redstone. And then we literally only need four ingots of this uh, to make some seeds. So that takes care of that one already. Energetic alloy, which is another one we need, is made by combining redstone, gold, and glowstone in an alloy smelter from Ender.io. And then we'll need enough of these to make four compressed blocks again. <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be quite a lot of this, so we'll let this run for a while. Next, we'll go for Refined Glowstone, which is made in Osmium Compressor. I don't think we have this one yet, though. And, of course, it's going to take alloys. Uh, redstone, iron, that one's fine. We'll go more over uh, the mechanism stuff and automating all of this in a different episode. I just want to get the the bare minimum of what I have to do. But to get these infused alloys, we're making this in the metallurgic infuser with redstone and iron. And then we'll also need some more of those control circuits we've made before. And then combining these with some infused alloy gets us the second tier of circuit, which is the advanced control circuit. And we'll just need two of these to make the osmium compressor and call it a day. In here, we're going to combine some osmium and each ingot of refined glowstone is going to take one ingot of... Uh, osmium and then one piece of glowstone all of that to make refined glowstone which we'll need four blocks of not compressed blocks this time just four blocks so that shouldn't be too hard to grab let this run also for a bit how's this doing slow but it's working 
How's this doing? Whoa, but it's working. Oh, now we get to do the B stuff. Yay. Ooh. Okay, maybe I don't do the B stuff. Oh my goodness. I think this is just going to be a make as much as we need kind of project. But how much do we need? One piece of each of these ingots is going to get us three all the modium ingots. Nine of these makes a block. And then four blocks makes us some seeds. So that's three of each to make a block, right? And then three, six, nine, twelve, four. So we need twelve of each ingot to make all the modium seeds. I think that's how that works, right? Anyway, Diorum. Where do we get arcane crystal dust from? Somehow, I swear I thought I had those arcane crystals from sieving. I must not have, though, because I can't seem to find them. Oh, we can also loot this from in cities. Apparently. We just need 24. Oh, I still need arcane crystal dust anyway. Ah, looks like we have some dust to sieve. With at least an iron mesh or better, we're going to sieve some dust in the hopes of getting arcane crystals. Dark gems and light gems. Spyro, you don't know about dark gems? What the heck? I hope somebody gets that reference. Okay, seeing a whole stack of dust got us three. Yay. I need a lot more than three. Okay, see time lapse. Are you ready? Please tell me I have enough now. All right, we're going to smelt all of our arcane crystals up. I don't even know how this works. How many does this make? Seven? Okay. Almost. <laughs> I just need four compressed blocks. So not even close. How is refined glowstone doing? Do we have enough for four blocks? Yippee! Guess what I'm going to do? Make seeds. Once we have some of that arcane crystal dust from smelting the arcane crystals, we're going to turn some of it into moon dub. That kind of dust. Red dust. Just like that. And then we can use this to make Diorum. And then we'll need 12 of these. I'm pretty sure, if my math is right. To make enough for all the modium seeds i think it's missing some phantom membrane and oh i didn't realize i could emc that oh dang it well now i have to wait until those guys spawn all right the last thing that we need to get is going to be soul infused ingots probably the easiest way to get this is going to be induction smelter I think. Do I have one of those yet? No, I don't. Should not be too hard to grab any of these, though. Do I have 10? Yes, I do have 10. Okay. And what's more, now I'm definitely going to have 10. <laughs> God, I love these seeds. I'm also going to need Invar seeds, I think. Yes. Those are super easy to get, also. Just because Invar is needed for the gears in these machines. And there we go. One induction smelter. I'm running out of room here. I do also need a pulverizer. In the pulverizer, we're going to crush down some soul sand. And then in the induction smelter, we're going to combine that soul sand dust and appetite, which you get by sifting uh, sand with an iron mesh or better and some invar ingots. All of this is going to get us those soul sand infused ingots. That should take care of that. We just need 12 of those. I'm pretty sure. To get enough for the Aldamodium seeds. May as well just go ahead and make Appetite seeds too. Because why not? We're finishing up the last Nitro Crystal we need. And then we can remove the pattern from here. Because we're going to make some seeds. And make a pattern from the Essence. Well, I made way more than I needed. What the heck? My math was way off. So there we go. Let's make some Nitro Crystal seeds. I see where I messed up. The stakes insanium. Requires nitro crystal crux. Oh, that's not good. Nitro crystal crux. Oh, that's not so bad. There we go. We just have to place this below the nitro crystal seed in order for it to actually grow. It's the right way I can do this without breaking that. Yes. We just get down here, pop this down, and then put the seed on top. And then it should start growing. Wonderful. And there we go, that's Nitro Crystal, automated, and all of the tiers from Power. Power, that's the one.
Technically, this means we can make the max tier of power reactor. I'm missing a lot of essence, though, uh, because they kind of start to get expensive as the tiers go up. But that's all good. We don't need it at the moment. What we do need is the all the modium pattern for energizing because we have all of these now especially the ones with seeds we want to make patterns for those too i am going to keep making energetic alloy but we really only need 12 to make enough all the modium for the seeds uh and then i think the only thing i'm missing is some diorum i just need some phantoms to spawn any day now <laughs> The good news is that we should be able to toss this in here and have this start energizing some. Because if I request 12 right now. Oh, wait. No, not I don't need 12 ingots. I need 36 ingots. And that's only going to take 12 of each. There we go. But I do only have enough for 25, 24. There we go. So let's try crafting these. Should put all of those ingots in there. And that was really fast. I just need to add all the modium to this filter. And it should pull that out. Wow, that is really fast. Okay. Well, there we go. We have all the modium. Yay, good job. Go, go us. <laughs> now, if only a couple phantoms could spawn so I could get just a tiny bit more so I can make seeds. Uh, in the meantime, there is one more thing we need in order to actually grow these seeds. Similar to the Nitro Crystal Crux, we need Magical Soil. For this, we're going to need a piece of Insanium Farmland, which you can craft. You don't have to use the hoe on dirt and then make it. Super easy. We need a couple of Insanium Blocks and Dragon Scales, which you get from defeating the dragon, which we did. We have those. That's how that works. And then we make this in the Infusion Altar. Magical Soil, just like that. Super easy. Now I play the waiting game for phantoms, and then I'm done. While we're playing seed crafting, there is one thing I need. I need 18. Do we need 18 of these? I guess so if we need two blocks. Um, but we need 18 nether star seeds to make dimensional seeds now. This recipe changed from the last series. So we're going to need 18 of each of these seeds. So we can start with the nether star seeds, I think. See if I have enough insanium for this. Just barely. So let's go ahead and throw all of these in here to craft 18 nether star seeds. I guess with Fido's we could make this so that it duplicates seeds. Is that how that works? Or no? I don't think so. This is, this is just easier anyway. I know I'm going to get a comment that's like, oh, put the essence on the dirt and it'll make it grow seeds sometimes. I don't want that. I'm just going to craft them. It's just as easy. It's fine. I know I wasted all my insanium just then. It's fine. We'll have more in the future. We just need enough for the other three seeds. That is going to take a lot of dragon scales. It'll be fine. I suppose we should just start a barrel of all the things that we need for the ATM star. And then start putting these things together. Another thing we need now that we have those nitro crystals are the player transmitters. We need 18 of these. Oh, this does mean I need 18 aerial pearls. And then we have to use these on some zombies. Hopefully I can get in here and get 18 of these guys. What are the odds? Oh, don't fall in. It's a bad idea. Oh, okay. The creepers are going to blow something up. This is kind of hard, not going to lie. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Oh, okay. That's not ideal. There we go. That's it. Done with you forever. With 18 of these, we can make all of the player transmitters in the world. I guess I can just add recipes for all these. Make it nice and easy. And then request 18 of them. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, missing so much. Oh, and that's going to take a lot of bites. Wow. How much is it to make one? Well, we can at least get one and call it a day. After a nice long building stream, I am back. I haven't made too much progression in the stream itself besides we just kind of built this bee house and kind of organized my bees a little better along with making this basement room a little nicer and reorganizing everything. Um, I did change this process a little bit. Uh, so now instead of having all of those sending modules to send to different centrifuges, 
I've instead changed this so that uh, this just pulls all from all of the beehives, all of the different combs, and then it will store them just in case it gets a little backed up. Then this one will pull from that drawer and send them into all these different centrifuges. It doesn't really matter which one they go into. I kind of figured that we don't really need a centrifuge for each honeycomb. And then last but not least, this modular router pulls from all of those centrifuges and sends it into this storage controller uh, where we have everything, all of the final products. That's pretty much it. Nothing crazy. I do really like how this bee room is turning out though. I'm going to get some little decorations in here, some, some flowers and stuff. And then there is this upstairs room that I'm not quite sure what to do with yet, but I'll figure something out. Anyway, while that was happening, I was able to kill a couple of phantoms so that we can make a little more Diorum to finish up the last few pieces of all the modium that we need. I don't remember how much of this we needed though. Oh, that's right. I need 12 more. There we go. Let this charge up and craft a little bit. Oh, it's already done. Never mind. There's all four blocks that we need. So we can now make all the modium seeds using these blocks. Now, of course, you don't have to make seeds. There are a couple of other ways to generate all the modium infinitely. For example, you can also make the all the modium bee, which will produce nuggets from its combs. Um, I don't quite have any of these bees yet, though. You can also generate all the modium ore from a laser drill, which is not something I really messed around with before the ore laser. So I don't really know how fast that is. What did I do wrong here? Oh, it has to be insanium blocks, I see. And of course, we need our magical soil for this to grow. So let's pop that down and then put the seed on top. And it should start growing. Cool, and we're already getting some essence in there. Now we can go back here and remove the old recipe for all the modium. And we can just put in a recipe for the essence instead. This isn't going to get us a whole lot of these um, for the time being. Just because it has to make nuggets from the essence. So you can see just how much we need just to craft one ingot. But it's still a good way to automate it. Now let's see if we can figure out what we can do with that all the modium. Because it is a very important thing to have towards getting the ATM star. The first thing that we can do is we can upgrade our tools and armor with this. All of these are indestructible tools that have some pretty good mining speed and attack damage and everything. Better than netherite, which is something we'll have to get first. Uh, upgrade our diamond sword from it. And well, not just the sword. Uh, but first we need to get the smithing template. And this is actually an occultism thing. I did not realize that. Are both of these? Oh no, this one just takes a bunch. Oh. I did not mean to do that. Oh no, that's so many items. I'm surprised I have storage for all of that. Jeez. So I guess the first thing that we need to do here is get the diamond template, or the netherite upgrade template, uh, which we're going to have to use some occultism for. And this actually shouldn't be too hard to do, I think. Uh, we just need one of those demon fruit seeds, which we do have some of these seeds here. So we can just come up here and plant this guy. He can just be in our farm with everybody else. Of course, he'll need his own drawer. And that's how you automate a uh, demon stream fruit. Uh, super, super easy. But then we need these guys. We're going to grab one of them. And a flint and steel, as well as a whole bunch of andesite. We're going to take our demon's dream fruit, throw it on the ground, and light it on fire. This is going to create spirit fire. Then we can just toss our andesite in it, which is going to turn it into a whole bunch of other stone. Other stone is used for all of the sacrificial bowls. And you'll need as many of these sacrificial bowls as the occultism ritual calls for. So we see here we have eight different items along with the one in the middle. So this is going to be eight sacrificial bowls and then one golden sacrificial bowl, which will be the main one in the middle. Another thing we need to throw into some spirit fire are some diamonds to get spirit attuned gems. We'll take some of these and turn them into a spirit attuned crystal, which is needed for the recipe. And then the last thing we'll need is this book of binding. 
This book has three special ingredients, all of which are made in the spirit fire. We'll just need a feather, a piece of black dye, and a book. Turn all of those items into their spirit versions to get everything we need for that binding book. Then we also need the Dictionary of Spirits, which is sort of the guidebook for this whole mod. Uh, but we need this so that we can bind this book to our spirit. And now we can use it for the ritual. I did also forget about the chalk. Oh man, I have to do so much that I don't want to do. <laughs> We're going to need three different types of chalk. All three of these have the same base and pure white chalk though. Made with burnt other stone, which is made by smelting other stone. And we also need other world ashes. This is a weird one to get. We're going to take our spirit fire. And we're going to burn some saplings in there. To get the spirit version of these. And then when we plant these, they're going to grow just like normal saplings. And they're going to look just like normal trees. But when you eat a dream fruit... We enter uh, like a spirit vision mode where we can break all of these logs down and get other world wood. If you break those trees normally, you're just going to get the normal oak logs. And then throwing all of this in a spirit fire gets us those other world ashes. Three pieces of chalk later. We need impure golden chalk as well. And impure purple chalk crushed in stone. Do we need the Crusher Spirit for this? Oh, that's wild. That's insane behavior. Well, this just means that we need to perform a one ritual before the one we actually need. Which means we'll need a different spirit book, binding, book, whatever. This one's going to be the Foliate Book of Binding. And again, we connect this to our Dictionary of Spirits. I'm not sure I have any raw ores. What the heck? Silver? Oh, what do I do about that now? I guess I just sieve some gravel. Oh, I guess I didn't explain why I needed these. Um, the ritual to summit the crusher summon uh, requires... Where is it? Oh, probably because I'm on the wrong one. Anyway, it requires uh, raw ore. So we'll need raw iron, raw gold, raw silver, and raw copper. And then... I Probably not going to keep these here permanently. Actually, I'm for sure not going to do that. But we'll need to perform the ritual to summon the Foliate Crusher. Up at the top here in the recipe, we can see what ritual we need to lay out. Or like the summoning circle, I think it's called. So we'll need to go into our Dictionary Spirits, where all of the summoning rituals are. And then we're going to find a VR circle. We can hit show multi-block preview to get a little vision of what it's going to look like. So we can right click, plant it down, and put all of our bowls into place. We'll need four bowls for all of our items. All of these little symbols on the ground are spots for white chalk. And <laughs> we do have impure white chalk. We need to turn into just normal chalk that we can place down. We do this by, you guessed it, spirit fire. Chalk, chalk, chalk. If you make a mistake like I just did, you need the chalk brush. With the chalk brush, we can just go whoop, whoop, get rid of one. And stop messing up. Jeez. We also need a couple of candles. Thanks to our wax collection from the bees. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Then we could pop all of our items onto their bowls, the foliate binding book in the middle, and sooner or later, uh, this will summit. Sooner or later, this will absorb all of these items and summon the crusher. There we go. Hello, little guy. I only needed you to crush down some end stone for me. So he's going to slowly work on that. I can get rid of this ritual and make room for a new one. Now I need to get ready for the summoning ritual for the netherite upgrade. That's the one. So we're going to go in here and find Abra's commanding conjurer. Which is this guy right here. 
and then we'll do the same and get a little preview of them with our crust in stone we can make purple chalk there we go and one more spirit fire to get some purple chalk which we need for this ritual boom let's get everything into place the same way we did before and with everything in place we just need to pop down these bowls excuse me sir would you mind moving over here for a bit thank you and now we can just get all of the items we need to perform this ritual the rest are super easy sorry mr piggy Oh, I don't want cooked pork chops. And with everything in place, let's pop this down to summon a possessed hoglin. Who's that guy? Sacrifice? Do I need a pig? It sounds like I need... It's made it seem like I need a pig. Come here, Mr. Piggy. Your time has come. Would you be following me if you knew what it was for? Hello? I know you know how to walk upstairs. What's wrong with you? Come on. Now, do I need to kill you? Okay, I think it did work, because I killed the pig, and now it's taking the items. Uh, so let's see. We're going to want to kill this guy as soon as he spawns, so he doesn't turn into a Zoglin. And he got armor trim. Okay, that means we're going to have to do this whole ritual again. <laughs> uh, I guess he doesn't have a 100% chance at dropping this. Oh, that means I need another book. Oh, man. Okay, take two. Pretty, pretty pleased I would like the upgrade, Mr. Hawkinen, if you wouldn't mind. Why does someone a baby? That's not fair. How's that fair? This is it going to work this time? I can feel it. Oh, why is someone a baby? How is that fair? I have a plan. Aha. Silk touch. Blaze spawner. Mob swab. Oh, that's so much easier. Oh my goodness. If you just craft a book and quill and toss it in the spirit fire, it may gives the exact same book instead of having to... Well, I did not want you to crush that. Anyway, if you craft one of these, book and quill, it gives you a blank book of binding, which you can then turn into the book of binding you need. Just using some dye. That makes life a whole lot easier. Now I just need one more little piggy guy. Bye-bye. Mob swap? Oh, bye-bye. Possessed hoglin. Yes. Oh, he gave me the smithic template anyway. Oh man. Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, man. All that. Just to get it anyway. What I was gonna do was make this guy into chicken feed and feed chicken he explodes he gives you a possessed hoglin egg you pop this guy down you pop this guy in here and then suddenly you have possessed hoglin spawner and then you could just kill these guys as they spawn but uh i guess i got the thing i needed anyway so <laughs> whatever <laughs> anywho now that we have that smithing template, we can make more of them by adding some diamonds and netherrack. We can just duplicate this as many times as we need. Then we use this to upgrade our diamond pools into netherite, which you do need the smithing table for. And then we can just do all of our armor and stuff as well. There we go. And then hopefully we have enough all the modium to get one of these guys now. Which we do not have that much. It is probably going to be worth it to craft or to make the ore excavator. Probably next time though. Anyway, let's make one of these all the modium upgrades. And let's apply it to something about that sword. Why not? Oh, you do need the ingot as well. That's fun. Pop this in here. And suddenly we have an all the modium sword. And that's what you can do with it. I don't have enough all the modium to get all the other stuff, and it's taking a long time for these seeds to grow. So we'll probably work on getting that ore excavator eventually. But as for now, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. We did quite a bunch. Got the all the modium going. 
we're going to need this for the ATM star anyway. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.